Hola. Hola, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hi, Carlitos. Hi, Hi Walter. Hi, Elmer. Hi. Hi, Eli. Hi, teacher. Por aquí wow, viene por pero my goodness. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Roxana. Ramiro, welcome. Hi. Y mira, teacher. ¿Qué me le pasó? Decirle que estaba bien enfermo, por eso no me había metido. De verdad, pero ya se siente mejor. Sí. Más o menos, ¿no? Ah. Por ahí. Ah, bueno. Estaba bien mal ahí en el hospital. ¿En serio, Eli? Sí. Buenas teacher. Good evening. Bueno, pero qué bueno que está con nosotros ya. Y espero que se recupere. Oye. Gracias. Very good. Elmer, what happened yesterday? You were sleeping. Good evening, my dear teacher. How are you, Elmer? What happened yesterday? You ah, were... no alcancé a llegar. Mm -hmm. Del mm -hmm. cuarto a la computadora. <laughs> Pero no alcancé. You were sleeping again. No, I'm kidding. That's okay. I'm very good. Hi, Marcela. All right. Roxana? Roxana, no there? Nobody's there. Hi, Roxana. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. I'm you. I'm okay. I'm okay. Vi que ya estás, está, bueno, ya vi el video de la sección 3, ¿verdad, Roxana? Sí, sí. El so to neither either y contestó ahí en el en la discussion box. Yes. Cierto. Excellent. Good job, Roxana. Well done. All right, guys. So, um, Thank you. class. Just to remind you, this is class number eight. Okay. Tomorrow is the last class of this week. Okay. To, this week we had a full week of classes. Okay. So I'm yeah. hoping everybody's advancing on the platform the way it should be. All right. Remember that after section three, we have the midterm exam. Okay. So today I'm going to wrap up the topic of can, could, and may for request. And I will begin section three. Okay. And the first topic we will study about section three is the use of so, to, neither, either. Okay, so that's what we're going to study tonight. We're going to study the, like, review again, can, could, and may, and then we'll go on with a new topic. Okay? Okay. So, okay. for the, uh, so, okay, for the ones that were not in class yesterday, I just want, um, I just want to take, this is like a really um, quick, explanation again of the use of can and could remember that we're using can and could for requests all right no for ability okay so here we have it says um ellie Larin, can you read it please model verbs okay model verbs i use in, i use in english to make all dress quick Polite request. Polite request. Uh, the lesson? Casi no, the lesson, casi no se lee. Really? The lesson below. below ¿Ahora? Show. ¿Ahora sí? Yes. Ahora, right. right. The lesson below show. You have, you have, you have to, you have to use? Use model verb for rest. For, re for requests, requests can, I, can, help, can help you communicate it in English. English. All right, very good. So model verbs, the ones that we were studying last night, can, could, and may, okay? For requests, we're not using can for ability. We're not using can for permission. We're using it for requests, okay? And then it says the lesson below shows how to use model verbs for requests uh, can help you communicate in English, right? A ver, hay como oh, una bulla por ahí de alguien hablando, no sé dónde estará la bulla, si está por su casita, ponga su micrófono en off. También recordarles de la importancia de audífonos para que el sonido sea de, de su entorno sea menos, all right? Very good, thank you. All right, so the examples. Walter, can you read the first example, please? Can you pass the salt, please? 
Thank you. Can you pass the salt, please? You're requesting, okay? You're not asking for permission. You're not talking about ability. You're asking for something. You're making a request, okay? Everything you can one, please. Could you read your book tomorrow? All right, could you bring your book tomorrow, okay? So you are requesting something. Very good. All right. Uh, continue. Elmer, can you read? Can and could? Elmercito. Can and could are used differently. Can is less polite than cowl. Can, can is. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Can is used to make basic requests from a friend or co worker in is often used for a small thing. It is often used for small things, all right? Can is used to make basic requests from a friend or a co worker because we are friends and we see each other every night. I can say, um, for example, Jennifer, can you turn on? Oh, can you turn on your mic, your microphone? That's a request, okay? I can say could or I can say can, all right? But it's okay. Can is... My it's, dear teacher. Yes. How do you say confianza cuando tiene confianza con una persona? Um, that you trust that person or that you get along with that person like really often. So you're like friends. Es usado para eso. Es decir, cuando nosotros... Usamos el Ken, solo va a ser con personas en las cuales les tenemos confianza. Yeah, Así le entiendo much. yo. Or más, sí, porque es más informal, ¿verdad? So, con amigos, con, trabaja, con la gente que usted trabaja todos los días, nosotros que trabajamos decir, todos los días. Ajá. A usted tendría que decirle, ¿Could you give me a presentation, please? Sure. <laughs> Pero no, para nada. Más, más formal, Elmer. <laughs> All right, very good. Oh, my word. But may you. All right. Ah, may um, you. Ah, eso faltaba. <laughs> may you. May you send me the presentation. Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, thank you, Elmercito. Thank right. you, teacher. That's why we missed you yesterday. All right, Carlos, Al Carlos Alberto. Can you think, oh, that's a request. Can you think of a sentence, please? Using can, could, or may for requests. Or uh, why is uh, what example? I want you, yeah, I want you to give me one example. All right. Okay. Um. Can you give me the the coffee cup? Oh, can okay, you, sure. Can you pass the the coffee cup? All right. The the uh, the cup of coffee. Okay. Very good. Um, Jaime. Jaime, Jaime, or James? I don't know. Is it the same Jaime? Or is it otro? Hola, hola. Hello. Hola. Hi. Hi. Can you give me an example using could for requests, please? Okay. Um, for example, uh, could you tell me what time is it? All right. Very good. All right. So, yeah, very nice. Thank you. Adriana. Can you give me um, another example using can for requests? Can you turn off the light, please? Okay, all right, very good. Okay, so um, it's very important for me to know that you guys are understanding the different uses that can may have. Remember that we can use can for ability, for permission, but in this particular case, we're talking or we're using can for request. It's not the same meaning, all right, as it is for ability or permission. So that's very good that you guys understand it. Do you have any questions about this? About can, could, or may? No. No, I think you understand it perfectly well, all right? These are like other two examples. Uh, Jennifer Acosta, can you read the first one using could? Can you pass the juice? Could, could, could you? Could, uh, could you pass the juice, please? You, yes, very good. And then it's very important to notice that you can use please at the end. All right, Sandrita, could you, uh, could you read the other sentence, the last one, the other question, could you? Sandra? 
All right, no. A ver, Marcela. All right. Eh, ¿Alguien que esté ahí cerca? Could you, help, could you help me with my work, my homework, Mr. Johnson? Ah, uh, Johnson. All right, very good. Thank you very much. All right. Cuando tienen sus, sus, um, sus cámaras apagadas, es difícil para mí saber si están ahí realmente o no están ahí. <laughs> All right, but anyway, that's okay. All right, very good. Do you have any questions? No, you're okay with this? Yeah, you guys are okay with this? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, so I'm going to show you this, which is the new topic for tonight. And this is beginning section three. All right, so I want you to pay attention. And I know Roxana already studied this. I don't know who already saw the video for you for section three, the first video. So too, neither, either. Anybody else besides Roxana already watched the video or no? No. Okay, that's okay. That's okay because today we're beginning section three. Anybody else? No? Section three? No. No. Okay, okay don't worry about it. Yes, we're yes I, I, I watched the video. You watched the video, Elmercito. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the discussion it. box. I saw, I, I saw you. You saw me. That's not me. <laughs> it's not me, Elmer. In, no? in the video. In the video. So it's I'm not too. me. Uh, yes, yes. It's my... <laughs> <laughs> Elmer, behave, Elmer. All right. Ah, uh -huh, Elmer. Ah, uh -huh. very well, Elmer. All right. <laughs> no soy yo, ya le he dicho que mi hermana. You es fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Anyway, Elmer. All right. Very good. So the the idea, or on the video, the teacher that is on the video. Okay. She <laughs> talked about the use of so. To neither either but when I'm not right now in class I'm not gonna teach you the four words together tonight I'll teach you so and to and tomorrow I'll teach you neither either lo voy a dividir okay. Okay. asegurarnos que we understand it all right that's the point en el video si sí, están los cuatro la maestra que lo enseña all right enseña los cuatro de una vez en el video Pero esta maestra le voy a enseñar dos ahora y dos mañana, ¿ok? Ok, that's All right. Cool. Antes, no idea. mucho creer, ¿Hola? No mucho Yo sé creer. que... <risa> Yo sé que lo va a explicar un tanto más, eh, eh, teacher, pero cuando usted está diciendo... Se oyen las conversaciones. Cuando usted está dando una explicación, la, la persona se queda así como incrédula y dice, so... Es, no es este caso, ¿verdad? No, es otro. De hecho, Elmer, como muchas palabras en inglés, como que tienen muchos usos, ¿verdad? O muchos significados dependiendo del contexto. El so también puede ser como, ah, mire, usted viene tarde. Yo le digo, so, ¿y qué? Pues? ¿Cuál es el problema? All right, pues también puede ser eso. O so, entonces, eh, vamos al parque. All right, yes. Entonces, el so tiene muchos usos. En este caso, es para cuando estamos de acuerdo en algo. Por ejemplo, si usted, yo, yo sé que usted ya vio el video que digo yo, um, I love English. Y usted dice, so do I. All right, ¿A usted está de acuerdo con lo que estoy diciendo yo. Entonces, me dice, yo también. All right. Entonces, en este... Pues, perdón, ¿cómo dijo? I love English. ¿A dónde lo perdí? Ajá. Yo le ah, digo, I, I love English. Usted me dice, so do I. So, so, so do I. So do I. Ah, ok. Ah, yeah. So do I. Entonces, ah, lo que está usted so haciendo es, está de acuerdo con lo que yo acabo de decir. So ah, right? okay. usted también Como quien dice, también, también yo. Exactamente. Mm. Es exactamente lo so que I, quiere decir so el so do I en este contexto. Ahora bien, como Elmer decía, el so lo puedo ocupar in many different um, situations depending on the context, okay? But tonight... Like a, like a get. Excellent, yeah, like get, yes. All right, so tonight I'm explaining to you to for making, like for when you are, like when you agree with, with me, okay? So, uh, so, entonces... <laughs> All right, so let's use this one. We use so and to Jennifer, continue, please. Me? 
Yes, Jennifer Acosta, yes. For positive agreement. Okay, listen to this. So and to for positive agreement. Only positive. If I say to you, for example, I don't like pupusas, and you say, so do I, is not correct. Okay, because so do I is Just positive. Why? It's positive. Well, I love pupusas. <laughs> pupusas are my life, okay? I can eat pupusas every day. Um, so, yeah. So, so and to are for making, like, positive agreement. You understand that? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. For example, say, no, I don't say it. Let's have someone else say it here. Marcel, are you there? No. Sandrita, can you read that sentence, please? I. Yesterday. I went to the beach yesterday. I went to the beach yesterday. Okay. So what I want you to notice here, we're going to use so. And this is the structure, the same structure that is on the platform. So plus auxiliary plus subject. Ahorita so do you... I. Exacto. Ahorita concéntrese en el so, all right? So the oh, I. So the I. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es, es eh, como dice, I went to the beach. It's yeah. so did, ¿verdad? Yeah. So uh -huh. did I. Así va a quedar la respuesta cuando usted me diga, right. yo también. Pero lo que quiero llevarlos es a esto primero antes de, de empezar con los ejercicios. Let's, right now, let's use so. Ahorita olvide el tú por un momento, ¿ok? So we have so plus auxiliary. Cuando I say auxiliary, ¿ok? Este auxiliar va a depender de mi, mi tiempo verbal en mi oración principal. Por eso, yo dije, I went to the beach yesterday. Él me dijo, so did I. Because my verb is in simple past. So my auxiliary has to be in simple past. You understand that? Yes. I say, let's see. Um, if I say, I go to the beach. I go to the beach. And what do you tell me? So what? So do I. Excellent. So do I. If I tell you I am happy, what do you tell me? So I am. So am I. So And I. And, whoop, so am I. All right, so am I. There you go. Right. No, I'm not nervous. <laughs> okay. So here, guys, we have Elizabeth. Como goza, Elizabeth. Ah, ya la vi. <laughs> All right, that's okay. It's only Elmer. Elmer me viene molestando desde el principio de la, de la vida. All right, Lucrecia. <laughs> I am It's happy. True. I am happy. Hi, Lucrecia. Can you read letter B? I am happy, so? Okay. Hi, okay. Uh, I am happy, so am I. Very good. All right. A ver, James, number two, you're making? You're making a noise. Uh -huh. So? So are you. Excellent. Very good. Marcela, I need more money. Me too. <laughs> All right. I need more so money. So? So do I. No sé, Marcela está por ahí. All right. Walter Hernandez, Steve, look, look at this. Steve likes pizza. Ajá. Uh -huh. Steve likes pizza. So does Mary. So does Mary. Okay. The so does Mary. Very good. The auxiliary depends, this auxiliary yes. depends on the verb tense, which is simple, present, okay? Adriana, I was tired this morning. I was tired this morning, so was I. Very good. Next one. Um, let's see. Um, Elizabeth. Okay. We were late. We were late, so were they. Okay. They were late. Oh, yeah. Okay, very good. My dear yes. teacher. Yes, Elmer? I don't understand the, the context for the second sentence. Which you are making a noise. So are you, no sé, no le entiendo. So are you, you are making a noise. Uh -huh. so are you? No sé qué le está diciendo, o sea, tú, tú también, tú, claro. 
Es como, que yo, le diga, un... es como que yo le diga a usted, ruido. Elmer, usted está haciendo ruido y se me diga a usted también. Ah, ok. Ya, ya. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. All right, Alex Calderón. Eh, I watched a movie last night. Um, sorry, I watched a movie last night. Uh -huh. So did I. Excellent. So did I. Very good. Norma Araceli, she can play the guitar. Norma, no? Okay, no. Ah, okay. So can I. Excellent. Very good. All right. Then I have again, I have Elmer. Can you read the other one? We? We could see the star. So could I. Very good. Elizabeth, next one. Okay. Uh, she can play the guitar. Ah, uh, we could see the star. No, the other one. The next. She will, one. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. She okay. will win an award. Very good. So will I. So will I. Ramiro, next one. I would like a cup of coffee. So will I. Very good. Next one, Adriana. He should study more. So should I. All right, very good. Uh, the next one, who wants to read the next one? I. Okay. They have finished early. Uh-huh. So how I. Very good. And Walter, read the, uh, can you read the last one, please? Okay, he has eaten too much. So uh, had I. So had I, all right? He had eaten too much. So had I, all right? So if you notice, whatever, you're, whatever verb tense that you're using on your main sentence, that's the auxiliary you have to use when you agree with me. You understand that? Yes, hello guys, hola, hola. Do you understand it? No. Can dijo no? Someone said no. no. <laughs> Can you repeat, please? Ah, Lucrecia. Yes, please. Hi, Lucrecia, how are you? Hi. <laughs> I was having problems with my internet. Ah, okay, okay, very good. Okay, Lucrecia, so tonight we're studying about so and to. Okay, and right now I just want to con I want you to concentrate on this one right here, and this is the formula for you to use so. Okay, you have to use oh, there's music okay. over there. I don't know who has the music loud. So plus auxiliary plus the subject. Okay, now when I say auxiliary, uh, Lucrecia, you have to understand which verb tense I am talking on all right for you to agree with me for example if i tell you i am tired okay if you say to me if i say to you i am tired and you you tell me that you are tired you can say what so so what is the auxiliary that you're going to use so am i all right very good i tell you lucrecia for example um, Elmer, Elmer doesn't, ah, no, hold on, no, 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 El, Elmer Pass. studies, no, hold on, Elmer studies every day, a ver, y Carlos Alberto me dice yo también, ajá, so, so, so they, they do, no, a ver, Carlos, ¿cómo me la contestaría? So, so Carlos. No. En el caso que Carlos la va a contestar, ¿verdad? Él sería yo, pero si vamos ah. a hacer las la dos, pero, pero está so, bien. Carlos. No, no. No, so ¿Qué auxiliar, va, no, ¿qué auxiliar so, vamos a usar? Talking. Okay, listen to this, guys. Elmer studies every day. Studies, which tense is it? He says simple time. present, simple past, future, present, continuous. Present. What is present. it? Simple yes. present. Okay. present. So which okay. auxiliary do I have to use for simple present? Does. En el caso que uh, Carlos contesta yo también, dice so why. En el caso que digamos él también, so what? Does. So does. So does. So does. So does. 
So does he. he. So does he. All right. So that's why Lucrecia is very important for you to understand or identify the verb tense that you're using here on the main sentence. Depends. I on... have a question, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, Elmercito. Eh, el verbo que usted use en su oración principal, así va a usar el auxiliar que le corresponde a ese tiempo verbal. ¿Me doy a entender? Ok. Yes. Yes. yes? Ok. Right, very good. Elmer, can you tell me? Yes. All in the life, I, I have to use uh, auxiliar verb for uh, with so. Yes. Always. En ningún, en ningún caso va a ser con, otro, con un verbo, con un verbo conjugado. No, no, usted lo No, ¿verdad? No, never. So, siempre va a ser auxiliar. Siempre. Siempre va a ser did, will, eh, did y todos estos verbos que hemos ¿Sí? estado usando. Todos los auxiliares, o sea, por eso. Ajá, no... todos los auxiliares, solo auxiliares. Si se fija aquí, Elmer. Sí, no, y eso es lo que me ajá. estoy fijando. Ajá, ajá. Uh -huh. Aquí estamos usando nada más con el so, ¿verdad? Estamos hablando del so. Ajá. No nos estamos metiendo. Pero aquí está, con el está usando. Ajá, pero está usando el verbo to be. ¿En dónde? So are you. Ya, yeah, porque en este caso como auxiliar, porque es el verbo, así lo usa, o sea, cuando usamos el verbo be, él no es que tenga un auxiliar, pero es el mismo, es el mismo que, va, que usted va a usar. All right, pero se, le, se lo toma en este caso como que si fuese un auxiliar. Ajá, esa era mi confusión, teacher. Gracias. De lo demás, todos los demás tenemos que saber el auxiliar que le corresponde a cada tiempo verbal. Sí. Solo, solo, solo es el uso de... Prácticamente, yo, para mí, el, el, el verbo to be, no sé si es un auxiliar, como sí, es el primero no. que enseñan siempre, Ajá. ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, entonces, eh, el, el to be y cualquier do, dos, was y, y todos los que hemos usado en, la, en los tiempos. Sí. That's right, el mercito. Okay. Gracias, gracias. Very good. All right, Lucrecia, you understand? Lucrecia? Uh, yes, yes, uh -huh. I, I understand. Uh, only I need uh, a couple more uh, examples. examples. Sure, yeah, I'm going to give you some more, some more examples, okay? Okay, let's look at this one. Um, I'm happy, she says, well, he says, I'm happy. And the other lady says... Oh, oh, am I? Oh, yeah. You're using, in this case, as Elmer said, they're using the verb be, and you use the verb be, all right? That's the only time that you, like, we can say that you use the verb, but in this case, we'll call it the auxiliary, so you guys make sense of it, okay? But it's the same. Um, Just to use uh, verb to be. Yep, yeah, the other ones, you use... Um, you use the, uh, the auxiliary, okay? Let's try to do this together. Esta este parte de su ejercicio, no mentira. Aquí está el ejercicio. Ok, veamos aquí. A ver. Um, ahorita solo usemos el so para ayudarle a Lucrecia. Si yo digo, I like ice cream, what, uh, what is your response going to be? So, I am nice. Do I? Do I? Ya, a ver. Do veamos aquí. Eh, a ver, Walter, regáleme una oración en cualquier tiempo verbal. No importa. Con I. Walter. Oh, ok. Eh, let me see, teacher. Let me think. Uh, um, I am very happy today. I'm very happy today. Yo digo, me too, ¿verdad? So, so am I. So am I. All right? So am I. I use the verb be here. Okay? And it's the same one I'm going to use when I agree with you. Okay? Okay. A ver. Eh, Carlos, Alberto, regáleme otro que no sea el verbo be. En cualquier tiempo. Presente, pasado, pa presente, perfecto. Lucas, que usted ya sepa. Come on, guys. I want everybody thinking sentences. I drink water. I will go. Okay. I drink water. All right. I drink water. Uh huh. So. 
So what, guys? Right. So do I. So do I. So do I. Very good. So All right. I. Very good. Necesito otra oración que no sea presente simple. Ni en tu vida. I, I, I will go with you to the movies. I? I will go with you to the movies. You too. I will go with you to the movies. Really? Uh huh. Yeah. So? Yeah. So what? So we live. Very good. Another one. Can I say future, not simple present, no verb be? I need simple yeah. past. I need present continuous. Okay. I? I went to the work. I went to work. Okay. So what? So did I. Excellent. So did I. Very good. All right. Present yeah. continuous. Guys, present continuous. I, co I coming. I coming to my house. I coming or I am coming. I am coming. I am, Thank I am you. I am coming to my. House. I'm coming to my. Oops, to my house. Uh huh. So. So oh. am I. So am I. All right. Very good. Okay. Very. Good. Oh. Um. Excuse me. No. Okay. You understand, Lucrecia? Yes. Thank you. Okay, very good. So, yeah, you're very welcome. So remember that you have to use the same or the, you need to know the verb tense for you to know which auxiliary you're going to use, okay? Mm. So now let's go back here. I want, I'm going to take you back to my, um, to my formulas. Look at this one right here. We're not going to talk about so anymore. We're going to use two. Okay, notice, so is at the beginning, but in this case, too, is at the end of my sentence, of my agreeing sentence, okay? So I have subject plus auxiliary plus two, but we're still using the auxiliary, okay? So if I say, I am tired, so am I, or using two, como me quedaría? She does. Me too. Me too. No, no, no. Me too is la más fácil y la más um, <laughs> como All right. Yes. I am tired too. No, necessarily. I am tired too. Oh. Hold on. I am. I, I, am, I am too. Yeah. You can say it this way, Elmer. The, the way am. you answer it's okay, Elmer, but it's longer. I am too. I am too. Yeah, I am too. Y la más común es decir me too. Si se le olvidó la del so, se le olvidó la del tú, diga me too. Me too. Me more easy. It's easier. <laughs> more easy. No, no, easy. more easy, no. It's easier. easier. Ah, okay. It's easier. <laughs> it is, yeah, it's easier, pero también tenemos que saber las otras dos formas. All right? It's yeah. easy than so am I. Excuse me? It's easy so Dance song I like easier, easier, it's easier, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you say, So I am tired, so am I, I am too, or me too. Lo que no se puede decir, me so, verdad, o I so, eso no existe. Mm -hmm. All right, no vamos a inventar ninguna nueva. Bueno, right? <laughs> Elmer studies every day, so do I. Hagamos el, el, en lugar de decir, so do I, usemos el, el too. Me too. No. no. Con el me too no. So, no. Me too, ese I no. am too. No. Ah, ya sí. No, no. no. ¿Quién da más? Elmer, <laughs> Elmer studies every day. So do I. Or. Ah, I do too. Excellent. Sigan la fórmula. I, I, I do too. Las fórmulas están siempre en su plataforma y acá porque me parece que es más fácil para nosotros entenderlo así. All right. Sí. So do I. I do too. Si tuviéramos esta, so does he. Eh, Siga la fórmula. So does he. He does too. He does too. Ya mire qué fácil. Yes. All right. Yes. 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 Right. Ok. Y ahora si tuviéramos la. Vaya, aquí tenemos me too, ¿cierto? Pero si aquí estamos hablando de he, pero quiero hacerla más fácil, entonces, ¿cómo me queda? He too. No, no. No, you porque too? arriba no dije I too, dije me too. Uh, him, him Excellent. Too. Thank you. Him too. 
O sea, que ya no se vuelve en tan tercera fácil. tercera persona. ¿Quién está siendo ahí, Beatriz? Sí, es tercera persona, pero es, un, es el, el, el object pronoun. All right. Entonces, ayer no se volvió tan fácil, ¿cierto? Yes. Ya no se la complica cada vez más. Dios mío, lo voy a borrar. <risa> lo borré en el mercito para que... No le pone no. difícil, <risa> Claro, el mes ya está casi que llegando al avanzado. What happened to you? <risa> All right. Despacito. I know. Pero Qué por eso canción, me quiere el mercito. Yo sé que me quiere. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, very good. Do you Estamos have one? All right. <laughs> ah, Elmer. All right. Here. Esta. Now we use two at the end. Pueden, podemos hacerla de la, de, de la siguiente forma, dos formas. Eh, I am happy too. Y repito, cuando yo digo I am happy. A ver, eh, Eli... Yo voy a decir, I am happy, y usted contésteme la que está acá. I'm okay. I am happy. I am, I am happy to... Ah, ay, ¿cuál Elisa? Ah, Eli, 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 Eli. Eli, Eli, Eli. Ah, ok, sorry. <laughs> That's ok. All right. All right, Eli, I am happy. I am happy. I am happy too. Very good. Elmer, you are making a noise. You are making a noise too. Very good. Ramiro, I need money. I need more money, Ramiro. I need more money too. More money too. Elizabeth, uh, Steve likes pizza. Steve likes pizza. So does Mari. Mari likes pizza too. All right, very good. Then I have James. Uh, we were, oh no, sorry. I was tired this morning. I was tired too. Excellent. Uh, Walter, we were late. They were late too. Very good. I watched a movie last night, Carlos. Watched a movie too. Excellent. Lucrecia, she can play the guitar. I can play the guitar too. Very good. Jennifer Acosta, uh, she could see the stars. I could see the stars too. Very good, guys. A ver, uh, Marcela, are you there? She will win an award. Marcelita, no, Walter, Walter Hernández, yes, uh, she will win an award, I will win a uh, winner too, Alex Calderón, I would like a cup of coffee, mentira, I don't like coffee, <laughs> I would like a cup too, Okay, very nice. All right. I love coffee. You love coffee? I hate coffee. Yes. <laughs> Norma, um, he should study more. I should study more too. Very good. Federico, they have finished early. I have finished early too. Very good. Roxana, he had eaten too much. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Yes, yes, yes. He had eaten too much. I have eaten too much too. Eaten too much too. Okay. Eating. So when you use to, you may make it longer or you may make it short. You can say I am happy too or you say I am too. You're making a noise too. You're making uh you are too. I need more I money need too. I mean I I mean I could do uh -huh. in, in this case uh, it's uh, it's the same uh, sentence that we yeah. to the end at yeah. the end. Yeah, that's the only difference. Only there. Yeah. Yep. Sí, o sea que en todo caso, en todo caso es más fácil esta de que de dice tú. lo mismo y le pone tú al final. Sí, Listo. Sí. Ajá. Solo que Elmer es más sí, usado, es más usado el tú, pero sin toda el la oración. Too. No, o sea, sí, el, también, me too. el me too es el más usado, pero si usted no quiere decir toda la oración, también es válido. I am happy. I'm hot. I'm, I'm, I am too. I'm too. Como lo que hicimos acá, Elmer. Ah, ah, sí, sí, sí. Esta, que es la, que es la forma corta usando el tú. La forma larga es esta que está aquí. ¿Me, me doy a entender? Sí, sí. Uh -huh. En lugar de decir I am happy too, solo puedes decir I am too. You are making a, a noise too. You are too. I need more money too. I do too. Y ahí es donde usamos el auxiliar. ¿Sí? Like. Si usamos la, la forma larga, no usamos auxiliar porque es lo que dice Elmer. Usamos la misma oración y solo le ponemos tú at the end. 
¿ok? Pero si lo yeah. queremos hacer corto, si sí necesito esta fórmula que está aquí, el subject plus auxiliary plus two. ¿You understand? Y como la idea dice el que es corto. ¿Ok? Can you please take a picture of this? I like. Take a picture, no. please. Can you take a picture? Anita, hi. ¿Por qué está tan callada, Ana? Uh, I'm very sick, teacher. Oh, my goodness, Anita. That's not nice. Okay. Okay. Y yo poniéndole más trabajo, imagínese. <laughs> no problem. Okay. I mean, it's very, Así es de malo. Very hard. Okay. No, yo no soy mala, Elma. ¿Quién es que yo soy mala? Okay. All right, finish. Did you take Wait. a picture? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. I'm going to send you to your groups and I want you to make, I want you to agree with this person, okay? I like ice cream, okay? Ahorita no vamos a usar a Mary, vamos a usarnos nosotros mismos, okay? Entonces voy a decir, I like ice cream y voy a usar, um, voy a decir, voy a estar de acuerdo con esa persona Usando el so y usando el tú. Vamos a usar los dos al mismo tiempo. Pero el tú, no importa que me está manchando mi pizarra. All right. El, el so en forma corta y el tú en forma corta. You understand? So I'm going to say, I like, I like ice cream. So do I. I do too. Number two, I am a teacher. And then you continue. You understand? Yes. You're excellent. Okay. Puede, puede poner lo que escribió, lo que escribió no. antes. Please. Me, me maltrata y después ahí anda de please. <risa> right. Lo que escribió teacher. This one. Esta, I... This one. Okay. This one. Espéreme, espéreme del verbo esperar. esperar. Y ese verbo, ¿cómo se dice en, en inglés? <risa> Waiting <risa> for you. <risa> Listo. Gracias. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so go to your groups and please work on it, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right, there you go. Ana. Hi, teacher. Hi, ya la mandé al grupo, Ana. ¿Va, va a unirse? O se sí. siente muy mal. Ah, ok, ok. Para que le dé ahí clic on it. Hi, Walter. Is that forever alone? Alone, teacher. Ay, no, espérenme. Es que yo creo que Marcela está teniendo problemas porque no ha estado. A ver. Ya lo mando. ¿Dónde está? A ver, Walter, lo voy a mandar a otro grupo. Anita no se ha logrado ir al grupo. No, 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 I can't. I don't know. Why is uh, because no into in the group? Mm. A ver, eh, ¿y está teniendo problema con su inter? No. Mm, no. A ver, hagamos una cosa, eh, Ana, sálgase de la reunión y vuelva a entrar. 
porque a veces así, así es más fácil reubicarla. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? La recuerdo, sí. So, um, am I? So, am I? Okay. Yes. Okay. So, am I? <clears throat> the next one. Uh, the second one is, um, is, I am two. I am two. Huh? Right. I, I am a teacher, too. I am two. Uh -huh, I am uh -huh. teacher too. Or, or I am uh, a teacher too. Uh -huh. There's the three ways. The Lord, the Lord four. Okay, can you read right. the, the third one, Carlos? Please. I went to... No, it's my turn. Ah, okay, no. sorry. <laughs> Elizabeth. It's my turn, Elizabeth. Okay. I, I am learning. So, did, did I? I in the past? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Next, I was in Mexico last year. Um, Lucrecia and Norma, you're doing I, okay? I yes. Okay. Yes. I was. Yes, teacher. I, I, okay. If you have okay. questions, let me know. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, Thank I, you. Yeah, and the and the next. I was in Mexico last year. So, so was. I. No, oh, no, but but it means it, in the is is was is a uh, to be is to be too. It's to be in simple past. I was, yes, I, I was in my dear teacher. Hello. Hi. I was in in Mexico. In Mexico. In Mexico. So was I. <laughs> yeah. In Mexico. So was I. So was I. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, it's okay. Yeah. So was I. You're the best. In the other, uh, yeah. <laughs> me extraña magaña. How do you say me extraña magaña? In, in, I have no idea. In I was, was, I was too. Teacher, please. Sorry. Me too. Me too. Yes, teacher. So was I. I, I was, was too. too. Me too. Yeah. I mean too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ramiro, you understand, one? Ramiro? Yes, teacher, I understand. Ah, okay, very good. I I I have problem with my gum. Uh, ah, okay. It only uh, show me a few seconds and say to rock. Ah, okay, all right, okay. But you can. I, I, uh -huh. <laughs> Teacher. Uh huh. I have problem with this. I have, I have eating chocolate. I have yo, al, yo estuve comiendo chocolate. Así es. Es como, se utiliza el did. No. I did. Eh, necesito el auxiliar del presente perfecto, Elmer. I've been. No. So have I. Excellent. So have I. So? So have I. <clears throat> so... Have. Have. No. Uh huh. I. Yes. So hi. Yeah. So hi. The I. second I. one. So what's is two? I. No. I. I have. I. Two. That's right. I have been two. No. Only I have two, Elmer. Only I have two. <laughs> no se. No se. Con, no se pone la la parte de esta. El B. Ajá. Uh -huh. No. No, porque oh. el auxiliar para el presente perfecto, él merece el have o el has en todo caso. Ok. Uh -huh. Es una maravilla usted. Of I course. will be. 
Tom <laughs> You miss me, ¿verdad? You miss me. Sí. I will be later. So will I. So will I. For the, for the next. I will be at home later. later. So will, will I. So will I. Mm -hmm. And... Waltercito, so ¿entiende Waltercito? I, este niño Elmer está acaparando todo. Entiendo, <laughs> teacher. Me right, está me... transmitiendo allí la, las... El conocimiento. Ajá. En el segundo one, I will too. That's right. I will too. I will too. No me vaya a poner a, a, a decirle allí, teacher, porque ya le, ya le estoy diciendo. <laughs> Me too. It's more easy. It's more easy. It's more easy. Me va a dar ataque. It's easier. It's more easy, teacher. No, no digas. Ay, no, no, no. Va a decir, me maestra la teacher Jessica va a decir. Teacher, it is is easier or it's easier. Both. You can say it's easier or it is easier. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Lo que no puede decir Walter. es lo que dice Elmer, yes. more easy. It's more easier. No, no, Elmer. I would like to use pizza. Elmer, what, what is the answer? Elmer is so, crazy, Ramiro. <laughs> <laughs> yes, teacher, I'm crazy for you. Okay. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye, Elmer. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. <laughs> oh, so my goodness. Bye. So would I. Uh, hi, Sandrita. Hi, Eli. Hi. Hi. I have a question. Yes, Sandra, tell me. The number six. Uh huh. A ver, number six. Two, four, six. I have eaten chocolate. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Qué tiempo verbal es ese? I don't remember. Ok, it's present perfect. Y el auxiliar del presente perfecto es have o has si fuese tercera persona. Pero en este caso es have. Has Entonces sería so have I. So have I. So have I. So have I. I have two. I have two. Y en la número tres, como es presente continuo, mm -hmm. entonces ahí siempre utilizamos el am. I am, um, sí. Mm -hmm. I'm learning. Solo en esa pues. Ay, en la... En la ocho. I would like... To eat pizza. Uh, I would too. I, I so would like. I, I said, yeah, so would I. Yeah. So would I. So would I. So would I. Mm -hmm. I. Porque ese sería el auxiliar would. Sí, would. en ese caso. Uh -huh. I would too. I would too. I would too. That's right. Okay. Solo en esas teníamos dudas y las otras ya las. The other ones are finished. Okay. Yes. Okay. We're going to go back to the main group and then we're going to do it together, okay? Okay. okay. Okay, guys, uh, we're, we're going to quickly do them together. So you guys make sure that you did them right. So for number one, I like, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah, thank you. Uh, for it's number different. one, I like ice cream, what would be the two answers or the two uh, responses? So do I. Or? Or? Uh, I like 
I do too. I do too. I, very good. All right. Yes. Yeah, very good. Elizabeth, I am a teacher. Uh, so, am I too? So, am I too? Como así? No, so, am I? No, I. So, am, am I. I. So, am I or? <laughs> am I. Or Elizabeth, I, I am, am too. too. All right, very good. A ver, Ramiro, mm -hmm. I am, I am a T. I know, I am learning. Okay. Uh, so and I. Uh huh. Um, I am too. Very good. Uh, then we have uh, Jennifer. No, ya me la digo, verdad? Hey, Walter, I went to the cinema yesterday. So did I? Did, did I? So did I. Very good. They did too. Excellent. Oh, I did too, right? Norma, eh, I was in Mexico last year. Okay. I, I, I have confusion in there with the auxiliaries. Uh -huh. I, use it, I use it on with so do I, eh, was or where? Was. Usted dice yo, I was, uh, uh -huh. so was what? I. So was, oh, our, so was I or I was too? Thank you. All right, very good. Next one. Uh, Alex, I have eaten chocolate. I have, I'm sorry. Uh, so, so have I. Yes, or? Or I have eaten too. Okay, very good. Nice. Roxana oh, Garcia. I have a, I uh, yes, have yes, a question, yes, sorry. Yes, because yes. Uh, you have to use have eaten or just have? No, just have. Because the auxiliary for present perfect is have. Okay, uh, um, I have to say I have too. That's right, yeah. Okay, no, thank you. ¿Cómo se llama ese, ese presente, teacher? Presente perfecto. El have eaten. Yes. Presente perfecto. Sí. Have you ever seen the rain? Ajá, uh -huh, excellent. Example. Have you ever seen the rain? Yes. Seen the rain. Y los verbos okay. los ocupamos en participio, ¿cierto? Sí, yes, sí, en participio de... All right, very good. Okay, thank next you. one. You're welcome. Uh, let's see. Roxana, I will be at home later. Uh, so will I. Excellent. Or um, I will too. Perfect. Silvia Villalta, I would like to eat pizza. So um, would I? Excellent. Mm -hmm. I I will too. Perfect. Very good. And the last one, Federico, I can speak Chinese. So I can? No. No. So, acuérdense so, de la fórmula. Es so auxiliary y el, el subject. So can so can I? Ajá. Uh -huh. Or. Or I am can too. I can too. Sin el am, verdad? El am no. So can I. Ah, perdón. Sí, okay. So can I and I can too. Okay. All right. I can too. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys. So we finished the class for tonight. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about neither either, okay? So these so and two are for positive uh, sentences or positive responses when you're agreeing with someone. Tomorrow, remember positive agreement. Tomorrow, we're going to study neither either that is for negative agreement, okay? Just okay. negative. Tomorrow, we're studying the negative ones. This is only for positive, all right? Okay, guys, oh, so I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Este es el primer tema de la sección 3, okay? Okay. okay. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Have a good night. You too. Bye. -bye. Bye.